Hi from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial for Creative Cloud, I'm going to show you how to create backgrounds, cool backgrounds, using the wonderful action recording tools feature. I'm just going to go over to Photoshop. The same sort of things can be done in CS6, obviously PC or Mac. So I'm just going to go now to the brush tool. Just selected a basic brush, obviously basic color there. There's the brush tool there. And I'm just going to go to the actions palette record a new action click there record and I'm just going to quickly apply a very random sort of background nothing uh, particularly elegant it's going to be a very rough background which I'm just now recording different colors just quickly apply over the whole entire design just very randomly so you can create yeah it's recorded all the various brush strokes and I'm now now I'm gonna stop there that's it just that's finished and the key thing all the way through this action thing is allow tool recording that's the key feature so once you've done that you can now it's actually recorded the color hasn't actually recorded anything else. So obviously it's recorded the position of the stroke, so all the brush strokes will appear in the same position. So if you create a document like 2000 by 2000, you'll actually, of course, only get uh, some of it will be obviously not touched by the brush strokes. So it just will be, I'm actually recording it in the 1280, but if it was 2000 by 2000, of course it would be, uh, some of it would be empty. Right, now I've done that, I'm just gonna go and select a different brush and I'm just going to quickly apply the action and you will now see very quickly you hope the brush stroke being applied across here and it's just basically applying using the same color but with a different brush stroke now also at the same time you can actually uh, use um, uh, different blending modes so you don't actually have to use sort of the same, uh, you know, normal, whatever. You can use difference or lighten or darken, maybe even with the same brush if you wish. So it's, it's fairly slow. So you're actually going through all the various things. You can actually just see all the, just going through there, just finished now. Now I'm just gonna actually go back to the original stroke and I'm actually gonna just increase the size. I don't wanna go with 72. So this is the good thing about it. And I'm also gonna use, say like darken. Now I'm gonna apply the action and it will just quickly whiz through and you'll actually see a very green of course now image just appearing in front of you of course I could use difference as well maybe reduce the size and that will just quickly create very abstract background designs in a few seconds, well, relatively few seconds, using different brush strokes. And of course you can apply this with other options such as the blur and smudge and all the other tools. It's a very useful way of creating, and of course if you wanted to, you can actually create maybe a wonderful drawing and reproduce it in multiple different styles.